Diverse Perspectives What Every Teacher Should Know About Teaching Social Studies in Order to Foster Active Democratic Citizenship. This documentary was created by Kim Spencer, Gia D'Amico, Cynthia Husianitis, Crystal Lockhart, and Matthew Nichols. Class, today I'd like to know what you think social studies is and what it means to be a good citizen. Yay! Yay! Encountering social studies through a community perspective. Bailey, can you tell me what it means to be a citizen? Um, I don't know. Someone in the community? A person who goes and helps people? They need to be good people. Good answer. How can you be a good citizen? Um, be part of the community, like pick up trash and, and help. So you're saying to be a good citizen, you need to volunteer and help out your community? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Um, I want to volunteer. I think we could probably find something for you to do around the classroom or in the community to help out others. Hooray! We found from interviewing Bailey that teachers should help students understand community involvement as a part of citizenship. Experiencing social studies through a cultural perspective. Dimitri, what's your favorite part of social studies? Oh, Greece and Rome, because I can relate to it. I am Greek, and I've learned about it, I've visited it, and I can relate to it. The interesting culture really becomes real. What does citizenship mean? I think it means people who live in a civilization, like in Greece. They are responsible and respectful, and they participate in elections and vote and practice their rights. Rock on. What would happen if people weren't good citizens and didn't do their jobs? Everything would be chaos. There would be a lot of crime and trash and garbage would fill the streets and nobody would pay their taxes. Dimitri, it sounds like you're really proud of your culture. I sure am. We Greeks invented democracy. We were the first citizens. According to Dimitri, culture is a huge part of citizenship and teachers should help students see that their cultural identity plays a big part in understanding it. Exploring social studies by examining the personal stories of people. Taylor, what is a citizen? Um, they like help the community. How do they do that? They pick up trash and print out flyers and stuff. Okay, so what are their responsibilities? They help the community and keep people safe. According to our interview with Taylor, we found that teachers really need to emphasize active involvement to promote citizenship. Engaging in social studies through the practice of civic ideals. Jasmine, what do you like about social studies? Huh? What do you like about social studies? Oh, learning about Amerigo Vespucci and other people like Christopher Columbus? Great, is there anything else you like about it? Well, I got an A in social studies. Um, I like that. Oh, perfect. What did you learn in social studies when you received that A? Um, you know, uh, when people died and what they did. So you like learning about people's lives? Yeah, yeah, that's the part I like. Understanding Jasmine's response tells us that teachers should help students emphasize the personal real-life stories of the characters and the historical figures that they read about to see that citizenship is a story of real-life people, just like themselves. Investigating social studies by examining personal citizenship responsibilities. Zoe, what is a citizen? Um, someone who never breaks the law and stuff? What makes them a good citizen, then? Oh, that's someone who does the right thing. That's a great answer. So what would you say makes a bad citizen? Uh, he breaks the law and he doesn't do the right thing and stuff. Like, someone who robs a bank. You would never do something like that, would you? No, because a good citizen always follows the law. When we interviewed Zoe, we found that teachers ought to emphasize democratic responsibilities to help their students develop civic competence. From all of us here at ODU, be good citizens. Rock on! I am Kim Spencer. I interviewed Zoe, a second grader at Newcastle Elementary School, Virginia Beach. My name is Gia D'Amico. I interviewed Jasmine, a fourth grade student at Benny Hills Elementary in Tennessee. I'm Cynthia Husinitis. I interviewed Dimitri. He's a third grader at St. John the Apostle. Hi, I'm Crystal Locker. I interviewed Bailey, who is a first grade student at Norfolk Christian. I'm Matt Nichols. I interviewed Taylor, who's a second grade student in Virginia Beach.